Managing a homestead is a lot of work, but having 12 people on a homestead is also a lot of work. Today, I'm gonna to quickly discuss how we manage all the chores, all the plant care, animal care, and making sure that 12 people have everything that they need. So I'm Brooke and I'm the oldest child here on Large Family Homestead. Uh, you may have seen me before in other videos. I tend to do a lot of the videos. And I think the animals is the first thing I wanna go over because I feel like animals take the most amount of work. And not that they are more work than gardening. They do require, like if they need something, they need it now, right this second. Unlike if the garden needs something, if a plant needs extra feeding, extra watering, it doesn't necessarily have to be done right that second. Um, and we have a lot of animals. We have cows. They definitely take up the most work. We have chickens, we have ducks, we have turkeys, we have geese, and we have quail. Now the quail are Joshua's responsibility because they're sort of his, um, but the rest of the birds are everyone's responsibility. So first, let's talk about the cows. I'm walking over to the cows because what good would a video talking about the cows do if the cows weren't in the background? Anyway, I just wanted to show you all, we got our own merch. I love the shirt very much. And uh, we also have a hat. We also have hats and mugs. So I'm super excited. I'm still waiting on those to show up though. I think these are in our store already though now. So I'm super excited. They look awesome. They're mostly just like promotional stuff. So don't feel like you need to purchase them because that's not what they're really for. Because they have our logo on them. See, more for just us to wear and for us to give away and stuff like that. So, but still exciting. There we go. I found a shady spot to talk about the cows with the cows in the background. So as far as our schedule for cows go, we have a dairy cow back there, right there. To manage a dairy cow, we normally, for the first four months after she has her baby, only milk once a day, letting the baby have some. Now her baby's weaned and she needs milk twice a day. So to manage this, we do have a schedule. And there we bring three people over every time, two to milk, one to do the rest of the cow chores that need to be done. Um, now they don't need watered, which is nice. We have a pond. They do need fed. So we have a schedule, three people come over. Three people in the morning, three people at night. We have seven people total that can come over here and do these chores. So we just rotate, we have a schedule. It's a weekly schedule on Sunday. These three people come over in the morning, these three people come over at night. It's really that simple, it's really that easy. Everyone knows how to feed them. Everyone knows how to milk the cow all the way down to Jonathan. And it's the star of the show, it's Marigold, our pretty mama dairy cow. Hi honey, you just relaxing in the shade? It's a nice day. All right, y'all, next up is birds, like geese. So over with the cows here, we keep geese and ducks over here. So the geese and ducks are over here to help maintain the pond and also help maintain the pasture because they will, <laughs> she's walking under the cow, they will spread out their manure and it'll com compost down much faster. And then it really helps us maintain the pasture really well. So we keep the geese over here and the ducks for that purpose. So pretty much to manage that, we need to feed them. They don't need to be watered um, because of the pond. They do need to get some water at night because we do put them away at night in a little house that we have over here for them. And so pretty much whoever comes over with to do the morning chores and evening chores. So we've told you we bring three people over, two to milk, one over to do the rest of the chores. Whoever comes over to do the rest of the chores takes care of the ducks and geese while they're over here. They feed them, and if we're putting them away in the cage at night, they put them away and give them water for the night. As you can see, they're enjoying their time here, sunbathing, eating grass, and swimming. Just a quick note too, we also have dogs, and we all know that dogs need like a pack leader. So Joshua just takes care of the dogs. He likes to take care of the dogs, are his project. He feeds them twice a day. He makes sure that they have water inside and outside because some of them like to spend most of their time outside and there's other ones that like to stay inside. And then he also trains them. That's sort of his project. So we're coming up in the quail house here and I think I already mentioned this, but I'll just say again, Joshua's in charge of the quail. They're his little project business. 
um, thing going on. So he sells eggs and whatever from that. So there's his house. He takes care of them, he feeds them, he waters them as often as they need, gives them treats, whatever, maintains the cleanliness of their house. So otherwise, we have chickens and turkeys. They live together in the backyard, they free range, and then they have a couple houses back there. Um, so pretty much we also have, there's a couple people in charge of that. So there's a person in charge of feeding the chickens. There's another person in charge of making sure that the turkeys get fed. Now, if someone just goes down there and feeds them, that's fine. But they need to let the person know that's in charge that they did that. Or else they'll get fed twice. And then we have someone in charge. We have one just big water, like 25-gallon water. And that's the only water that they use and he's filled. So one person's in charge of making sure that, that gets done. And then we have some baby chickens and someone's in charge of going in there, feeding them watering them and then I'm in charge of the chicken housing cleanliness because they are mine so I'm in charge of making sure that the chicken's house is cleaned out and then someone else is in charge of making sure whoever animals are being raised in the brooder it's their job to make sure the brooder stays cleaned out so it could be Joshua's quail it could be uh, chickens that mom and dad have it could be my birds so whoever's birds are in the brooder it's their responsibility to make sure the brooder stays cleaned out and then as far as the garden goes i'm pretty much in charge me and mom are pretty much in charge of deciding what to plant and where it gets planted and then me and dad are in charge together on troubleshooting so if there's a problem in the garden we troubleshoot it and figure out what's going on what needs to be done right and then otherwise maintenance tasks like weeding, watering, even the actual like planting will get done in the morning while the milking is being done by whoever is not going over to the cows to milk. So whoever's in charge of the nightly time milking and taking care of the animals will do the garden that morning. So garden work always gets done in the morning. So we get up pretty early, trying to get most of it done as soon as we can. So pretty much our morning looks like we get up, whoever's going over to the cows does that, whoever's going down to the garden does that while they're at the cows. When we get back, we get breakfast, we take care of the rest of the animals. Pretty simple. We're pretty much done before 8, 9 o'clock in the morning. Everyone's been taken care of. The garden's been taken care of. And then as far as like harvesting the garden does, I do those videos. So it's pretty much whenever I have time to do those videos. So whenever I allot time for videotaping, if the garden needs to be harvested, that's when I'll do it. Thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of this. Make sure you give a thumbs up. If you have any questions or thoughts, make sure to drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to hit subscribe.